Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Uh, I have been through a little bit of a, a spending spree as of late and I kind of just wanted to detail what we have, all of the things that we've spent money on, including this giant box and everything surrounding me and talk you through the videos and stuff that we've got going on because <sighs> I made some terribly impulsive decisions like we should. Anyways, let's get to the unboxing after I tell you about today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by our merch, my friends. We have the It Just Works shirt, we have the Ray Trace shirt, we have pillows, we have hoodies, we have phone cases, anything that you could want Ray Traced, anything that you want just working, we got the merch for you to pick up at the link in the video description. Everything helps support the channel. You get a nice little t-shirt. Also, we're planning on bringing out some new merch sometime soon, so let us know if you have any ideas of things that you would wanna bring to our merch store in the video description. We're working on hot news merch and we have a whole bunch of other stuff that we're considering as well, so check it out. All right, well, where do I start? I think I should start with the package that I haven't opened yet, which is the one we got today. Everything else has been like kind of trickling in over the past few millennia. Oh, there we go. So this is from Amazon here in South Africa, order from Amazon because they actually make customs really. Hey, oh, oh, oh. You know that feeling of like nails on a chalkboard? Or like, oh, oh I'm good, I'm good. Oh. Okay, anyways, as I was saying, uh, with, with Amazon, what you do is you just, you buy the items, they, you pay for shipping, and then they take an import fees deposit right up front of what they expect the import fees are gonna cost. And if it's cheaper than what they expect, then they actually refund you at the end. But they try to handle all of the customs and stuff that goes on there rather than me taking care of it, which can be a little stupid. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this one. So we, up first, don't look at the most expensive thing. We've got this SF750. So this is a small form factor, 750 watt, 80 plus platinum, fully modular power supply. I'll detail what that's for in a second. Then we have this Cryorig C7CU copper heatsink. This, as you can tell, probably we're working on a mini ITX build of, of some fashion. And then the coup de gras, and then there's other stuff in there, a Founders Edition reference RTX 2080 Ti. Now, this, I have to make up for something I did yesterday on Twitter. Uh, yesterday on Twitter, I took a Radeon 7 and I chucked it in the trash. So, the first thing I'm gonna do before I even appreciate this graphics card is uh, something of similar note and vein. I'm not even gonna take a second to appreciate it. Reese, follow me over to the trash. Is it properly exposed over here? Yeah. Okay, good. Bye, let's go, come on. So RTX 2080 Ti, that's actually tied into this SFX power or system that we're doing because we also picked up this ROG Strix Z390i mini ITX motherboard and we're gonna combine that with a 9900K in the, with the SF750. This is the best CPU cooler that we could find under 47 millimeters of height because it's all going into the brand new Dr. Zaber Century 2.0 that was sent over to us for us to check this out. It has a clearance height of either 47 millimeters on the air cooler, or if you wanna do an AIO, you actually lose some of the GPU space. But since I didn't wanna go with a mini ITX card, I wanted to go with a full length card. We're going with an air cooler. And I'm just, I'm hoping that with, with the thermal paste and everything, this is gonna be enough. So we actually have, the video planned is like the ultimate console killer, basically with a 9900K, that 2080 Ti that's now in the trash, I'll go dig it up later. Um, that's, that's all going together. We could also do an AMD version if you guys want us to, because what came in yesterday and what I threw out in the trash yesterday is the Radeon 7. We actually have a couple videos planned for this puppy. This one's, this is sleek. I really love the reference model on this. It's so gorgeous. Where's the, where's the 2060? So that way I don't have to. Like I said this in the Instagram stories that we do every day, but both Nvidia and AMD have knocked it out of the park with reference designs this generation. These are just super gorgeous, super sleek, and I love it. So that's a lot of money spent on graphics cards. Um, I'm planning, we, we've done the like Core 2 Duo plus 1080 Ti, 2080 Ti videos. I'm planning on doing something similar with the Radeon 7 going back 10 years with the CPU, combining that with the Radeon 7 and just enjoying bottlenecks for a while. So we're not done with the uh, the Amazon order. 
There's actually two more things, but they're the same thing. I just ordered two of them. These, my friends, are what are known as a jig. Is it in focus, Reese? Mm -hmm. This is a jig, my friends, for the Nintendo Switch. I had already ordered a jig because it makes your life easier instead of bending paper clips, but we've rooted our Nintendo Switch and we've overclocked it. So we'll have a video coming out on overclocking the Nintendo Switch sometime soon, hopefully next week. I wanted to get it done this week, but then somebody threw out my other jig and I don't want to paper clip it. And it, it, it really makes your life easy to just do this. See, these are like $10 on Amazon. And then if you have a console that hasn't been patched, you can root them and then overclock them and do a whole bunch of other cool stuff like emulation on the Nintendo Switch. So those are 3D printed jigs. It was just easier to include it with the order that we already had coming in. And then also in that ultimate uh, console killer, we have a two terabyte NVMe SSD that we're gonna be throwing into there as well because you can have the best parts, but if you don't have good storage, then uh, what, who are you? Who are you even? Oh yeah, so the RAM that's gonna go in that console killer build is the Trident Z Royal, which is currently on the test bench over here. This is just the box that it came in. Ooh, it's, it's pretty. It is pretty. It's pretty RAM, except for the font, which GMAX complains about all the time. He's not wrong. Let's let's talk about, uh, what else? Camera, camera. We have been shooting stuff on the Panasonic GH5 for the longest time. It's been doing pretty all right, but, uh, didn't really meet our needs in the way that we needed it to. The um, image stabilization just didn't really work for what we were trying to do. It's supposed to be really good, but we always got wonky results with it no matter what settings we reconfigured. We've been shooting on the Sony a6500 for videos like this where it's on a gimbal and all of that kind of stuff, um, but it's not quite the same quality of, as the GH5. So what you're watching this video on right now is actually the Sony a7 III that we picked up. Full frame, image stabilization on the gimbal. Things have been looking pretty sharp. Uh, I actually really love it so much. And then we also picked it up with this Sigma 50 mil f1.4 lens in case anybody cares about cameras. So if anybody in South Africa is looking to buy a GH5, we have what, five batteries for it and an AC adapter and it has V-Log, it's 25,000 Rand, just let me. Let me know. Local warranty too. And then uh, Deep Cool actually sent this over a while ago. It's the Captain 240 Pro, has automatic pressure adjustment technology and RGB anyways. So it's supposed to not leak. I think we should test that. I think we literally should just try to break it. Cause I didn't even know they were sending this to us and it just showed up at our door. So I think if we just, you know, use it for what they say it's supposed to be used for, we could, uh, have a good time with that. So that 2080 Ti is actually gonna be used for quite a few different things. So we have the ultimate ITX or console killer build that we have with the 9900K and the 2080 Ti. But then we also are gonna do a follow-up to Reese's MacBook Air plus the 2060. We're gonna do it with the 2080 Ti with this Razer Core X that's sitting right here underneath the, uh, the head headphones and stuff. So this external GPU, all that kind of stuff. It also makes for a really nice uh, set piece. So that's why it's just sitting there. I also picked up a GTX 960 and a GTX 760 because we're gonna compare the two generations to see what the performance improvement was from 760 to 960 so that we can uh, you know, satisfy the needs of people who are saying the 1660 Ti is not as good of an improvement as it should have been. We'll go back a couple generations and see 760 to 960 to 1060. What does it actually look like? And then that 2080 Ti, not only is it used for this ray tracing plus MacBook Air video, it's also gonna be used in a video for, uh, we're, we're gonna be replicating a build of one of the most famous streamers out there. This is the Cougar Conquer case that has been bastardized. Look at all of those hideous stickers. I am not sure how we're gonna get these off. I have a good idea of how to get it off of the metal, but if anybody could give me some recommendations for how to get these stickers off of the tempered glass, that would be much appreciated. But why? Why did this person just slap all of this? Who does this? This looks horrible. Like, this is an okay looking case, but then when you add all of that freaking crap, it just, why? Why, 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 why? Oh, that's peeling off pretty easy. Huh, maybe it'll be like that on the glass and then we can just take like WD-40 to it and clean it off. I don't know. Anyways, I picked this up used. The reason that's why it has the stickers on it is because um, 
they're not for sale for new in South Africa right now. They're out of stock everywhere. And then importing cases, like I think the shipping on this thing was like $400 alone if I wanted to buy it on Amazon. So I had to get it locally, which meant that I had to go with one that had been horrendously treated and abused. But that's gonna be combined with uh, this ROG Z370 Maximus 10 formula. We've got some Trident ZRGB RAM. Uh, it's gonna be combined with the 8700K and we're gonna be doing a custom water block or custom liquid cooling for the CPU as well because that's what the streamer has in his setup. Why am I out of breath? Well, we're gonna replicate it one for one, show you how to build like the gaming rigs of like the best streamers out there. So that's the plan. We're planning on making this a series. We're starting with one to see how it goes uh, cause like building these rigs are super expensive because most streamers have like an i9 79 something or another, 7900X, 7920. And it's all really expensive to get done. Oh, and we also have the, this is the first cheap Korean monitor. So we already did a video on uh, the 32 inch cheap Korean monitor. At the beginning of that, you saw that the 27 inch one that's right here was dead on arrival. It had like a broken panel. So we got that arm made real quick. We got a new one delivered and this one got, the old one got taken away. And so we're ready to go with this. We're ready to do a review on the 27 inch 1440p, 144 Hertz. I believe it only goes for $200. So that's a pretty enticing price. And then lastly, one more freaking thing that we did to, uh, improve our videos is we got these RGB lights. So you can, you can change it, you can rearrange it, you can get rid of certain colors, bam. And then you could also just turn it into white. So that's everything we picked up. I, what, all in all, this has to be like, what, several thousand dollars. The 2080 Ti is 1400 bucks. The Radeon 7 is $700. That's $2,000 right there just on graphics cards. The 960 was another like $50. What else did I pick up? Yeah, yeah. And then the camera was also $2,000. 2,600 because South Africa has higher prices. Reese, I have a problem. I shouldn't be spending money like this. But it's gonna make for some really good videos. So this is this is our haul. Reese, if you wanna show them everything that's on the floor. This is, this is everything you guys can be expecting in videos coming up. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention the gimbal that we're freaking filming everything on now. We used to use the Zion Crane Plus. Now we're on a DJI Ronin S. So everything's super smooth and Reese can do barrel rolls. Can you do a barrel roll right now? Oh, hello. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we also have this Palette Jetstream 2070 that we were sent over to us. I didn't buy this one, so thanks to them. Okay, anyways, let's talk about today's video sponsor again. Don't forget to buy our merch. Buy that merch, buy that. All I want for Christmas is a UFD merch. All I want for Christmas is a UFD. Gerch. And if you enjoyed this type of video, kind of showing off our haul, let me know down in the comments. I just want to hear from you guys. Also, let me know if you have any suggestions of videos that you want us to do with the things that you see that we have or anything else that we could pick up. I'm keen to hear from you guys. Let us know what type of content you want to see because we're always up on the up with that. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see your smiling faces again in the next video. Love you too. You see, the trick for this is that uh, we put s sound foam in there to, to dampen the, the blow. We did it with the Radeon 7 too. I didn't throw anything away. I would never, never abuse a graphics card like that. That's not true. Actually, <laughs> I know this isn't, this is the outro, but uh, people are getting a long outro. This uh, 1080 Ti Hall of Fame that we have over here, is the exposure good or no? Yes, okay. This 1080 Ti Hall of Fame that we have here has been dropped off those shelves back there multiple times, has fallen off. And uh, the card still works, the fans do not. So 1080 Ti Hall of Fame just sits as a PCB because I bumped this couch into these bookshelves way too many times. But that's also before when we had less space. I think we only had like this much space in between the couch and these bookshelves. Now we have a whole walking area and this is where we put stuff. So, bye. <laughs>